There are a number of congressional committees that have been investigating the allegations of Russian interference in the 2016 election, and they all operate pretty independently. Uh, there is Robert Mueller's investigation. That's kind of the big, important probe that's looking at whether any laws were broken. Mueller is off on his own. As far as we know, he is not particularly coordinating with Congress. There's the House Intelligence Committee, which has announced that it has wrapped up its work. Republicans said they found no signs of collusion. There's the Senate Intelligence Committee, whose work continues. And then there's this committee, the Senate Judiciary Committee. This was the big document dump. It's the only committee that had promised to make a substantial amount of testimony public, and now it has. Democrats say they fear that this release is in advance of Republicans saying that they too are done with their investigation, but we've had no announcement like that so far. I don't know that the documents substantially change our understanding of what happened at the meeting. Uh, I do think we learned um, some things. We learned out of Donald Trump Jr.'s own mouth that indeed he took this meeting because he thought he was going to get dirt on Hillary Clinton. That's why he took the meeting. That's what he thought was going to happen at the meeting. And in fact, he acknowledged that he was disappointed and believed that the meeting was a waste of time when he did not get that kind of material at the meeting. Uh, we learned some other things. We learned that when the meeting became public uh, in the summer of 2017, there was a real kind of panic in Trump world about how the public was going to view this. There was an understanding that it contradicted what people had said earlier about whether there was any contact between the Russians and the campaign. What they might tell you, what, they, what Goldstone seemed to be implying you would now, as I recall, it was all basically this email coordination, let's try to set up a meeting and see what happens. So there was a lot of sort of back-channeling about what people were going to say about this, whether they should be fully honest. Uh, that's the kind of thing that Robert Mueller will really look at uh, as he probes whether there was obstruction of justice uh, around this meeting. Most people would have taken that meeting. It's called opposition research. I don't think you can look at these documents and say that they prove there was collusion between the campaign and Russia. Uh, this is a very intriguing episode. It has always been an intriguing episode, but much of what these documents show essentially confirms the narrative that we knew about the meeting. We do expect there'll be some additional findings from the Senate Intelligence Committee, uh, whose work has been the most bipartisan of the congressional committees that are looking at this issue.